my name is Glenn Ruffhead. If you are watching this video because I have sent you here, then you know why you're here. If you've randomly stumbled across this video and you've got no idea what this is, you were searching for man, carbs, Freddie Mercury's face into a turnip, then this is not the video for you. I am a professional musician, loop pedal artist, singer-songwriter. I've been blessed enough to sing for some amazing people. You know, I've had some beautiful feedback over the years. Like this. Absolutely made our day. And this. You are amazing. And this. Absolutely smashed it. So thank you to everyone who I've ever, you know, played and, and had an amazing, amazing day. But anyway, I'm rambling. The point is, is this. I want to take you through the steps of how I do my weddings. This is not how everyone does it. This is just how best I've found it works for me and for my couples over the years. I'm sure you'll have a million questions. Of course, it's the biggest, best day of your life, which I'm happy to do. I'm just trying to save you time by putting them all together in one thing and maybe it'll help you. You might think of something else. So, so that's what this video is about. Starting off with the ceremonies. I usually get there really, really early. I hate being rushed, I hate being flustered. Set up and play about 20, 25 minutes as your guests are coming into the ceremony room just to save people like shuffling in and that awkward silence. And of course it's, in my opinion, the best thing ever to have live music for that part. And all parts, of course. Then I will sing you down the aisle. If it's a song that is not on my list, I can do arrangements for you. I can do demos. I have a studio at my fingertips, which I can do, you know, whatever you want. Send it over. You can have a listen. See if I'm on the right tracks. Fortunately, in the 10, 15 years I've been doing this, no one's ever said no, which is amazing. So, yes, walk you down the aisle. Sing you down the aisle, sorry. I won't walk you down the aisle. I'll sing you down the aisle. And then when you get... To the top, I usually give my couples 10, 15 seconds just to, you know, gather themselves and, you know, enjoy, savour that moment. It's not a rush, it's your day. The songs that I do down the aisle, nice love songs, sort of Radio 1 Live Lounge songs. A bit like this. You look so wonderful in your dress. Or this. You and me away. Or this. I don't know where I'm pointing, but, you know. Take the time to make some sense. Sing you guys down the aisle, and then a couple of songs during the sign of the register, depending on what type of ceremony you have. And then a song coming back up the aisle, once you're a married couple, which is, you know, the best thing ever. What I normally say to my couples is, I would normally pick a slower song to go down the aisle, it's a nice pointy bit, maybe it's a song that has words that are meaningful to you. And then the song coming back up, maybe it's a bit more upbeat, a bit more lively, because it's a happy event, isn't it? That's a ceremony. Drinks reception is the part between the ceremony and the wedding breakfast. It's usually an hour and a half, two hours, which is where I normally do what I'm sort of best known for, which is like my own versions of R&B, hip hop, loop pedal songs, a bit like this. Everything live, guitar, singing, backing vocals, drums, bass, bells and whistles basically. But I do it all live so your guests can watch, you can watch and you know it's, it's a nice thing for people to look at while you guys are having some photos taken. And basically the loop pedal stuff is to, just to give the atmosphere a bit of a lift, you know. Everyone's different but I personally wouldn't have another two hours of love songs because uh, it can be a bit... Mm. That's just my opinion. Which takes us to the wedding breakfast. Most of the time I do jazz swing stuff during the wedding breakfast. I find it just sort of fills the room a bit more without being too imposing. If you don't like jazz swing stuff, then we can just do acoustic stuff or whatever you like. My style is more laid back, sort of Jamie Cullum type Sonata vibe, rather than, hi guys, let's get your nana up. If your nana wants to get up, she can get up. Um, that's fine, a little good nana. Then, once that is finished, we move to the evening. 
what I normally do is here yeah, sing your evening guests into the room, conduct maybe the cutting of the cake, and then if I'm if you want me to, I can sing your first dance live, which again is always a massive, massive honour. Again, I can do demos for you, for you, and yeah, it just means you know I can get everyone up. You know, some people are a bit. Let's be honest, most people don't want to be that much of the centre of attention by this point of the day. So I can do maybe the first verse in the chorus, then get everyone up and get the party started. You don't have to book the, the full day, of course. You can have any part of, of, the, of, of the day that you want. You can just have ceremony, you can just have drinks, or you can have everything, which is... It's lovely, it's lovely for me to be with your guests all day and then they can get a feel for what I do and I can get a feel for what they like and I can sort of tailor the music to what they like and of course what you guys like. Pick and choose from the packages or if you have a different idea then let me know. These are just guidelines for what, for what, you know, work for me. All my equipment is pat tested and insured. I'm a member of the Musicians' Union, so if you need public liability, that covers everything. Yeah, that's the sort of boring bits, but it needs to be done. If it's a song that I don't know, it takes us a couple of months to have a little listen to it, just to get it in my head if I've never heard it before. Then, like I said, I can knock up a demo, send it straight across, you can have a little listen, let us know your thoughts, and then we're good to go. If you want to book me for the day, thank you so much. I'd be absolutely honoured. I do an invoice and then it's a £100 deposit, which is all done online so we both know, you know, what where we're at with it. And then we just add songs as we go. You know, if, if you follow us on Instagram, Glen Our Music, then I pop songs up. If you like them, you can just drop me a message and say, I like this. I'll just quickly add it to your thing and, and then we're good to go. We can we can add it as we go and sort of tailor it to make it bespoke for what for what you want. Outstanding balance. A lot of people ask us this. I'm super laid back about it. If you want to pay the full thing on the day you book, that's fine. If you want to just pay the deposit to secure the date, that's brilliant. If you want to pay little bits off, you can. Just drop us an email when you do, or I'll, I'll get lost and confused. Or, or, or basically I would just say two or three days before the wedding you don't want to be walking around with cash in your hands or whatever because chances are you'll probably spend that at the bar and then you'll be stressed. So yeah, I'd just say a couple of days before the wedding at latest. I'm really, really laid back and relaxed about that sort of thing. Hopefully this has been useful and it saved you a bit of time and answered a lot of your questions that you might have had. Yeah, if you've got any questions, of course, follow us on Instagram, Glenn or music, drop us a message, drop us a Facebook. I'm always here to help and hopefully I'll see you at a gig or at your wedding, which would be amazing. Um, best of luck with the plan and hope to hear from you soon. Thank you very much.